Good morning, this is Tracy Dinkle down here at Metro RV here in Billings, Montana. I was gonna go over this 2023 Arctic Fox 29.5 T. Gonna go over some stuff of what makes us tick and what makes it different from everything else that is out there. First off, these are all built in the Grand Oregon. They're a family owned company, um, but onto the coach. So these ones are gonna come with a fully certified off-road frame. They're on a camber on the frame itself. So that way it gives you a really nice solid foundation. Plus on that, you're gonna get a fully suspended tanks. So all three tanks, the fresh, the gray, and the black are heated, but they get heat over the top of them and underneath them with that suspension. You're gonna get 80 gallons of fresh, 67 gallons of gray, 65 gallons of black. So you get a lot of capacities on this end. They do run a G-Range Goodyear Endurance tire. They have gas struts on all four points of the tires. So that way you get a really, really nice tire right out the get-go. Plus you get full Dexter suspension with Dexter axles. So they're a fully uh, rebuildable axle. They're just not a throwaway item. This thing is made to last the long way and the long haul on that end. All these ones are gonna run full marine grade plywood floors. Everything's all finished out. When it comes to your passenger doors, they're all slam latch steel hinges on both sides. They're all one inch thick and they're all block foam insulated. And then the other nice thing, when you shut them, you get a little bit of a bounce back when you get it set in there. So that way you get a proper seal and you get a, a positive uh, feedback on that gasket. So that way it helps eliminate from water getting on the inside of the coach. All right, so on the pass-through here, everything's full aluminum, as you can see on the superstructure here. Everything is gonna be done in aircraft grade aluminum. And the way you can tell is that both sides of the joint are gonna be full welded. So they use a 0.24 gauge aluminum on these, which is superior to a lot of other manufacturers out there. Biggest thing, the better the foundation, the uh, longer the coach lasts. All of your doors are gonna be really nice, easy shut. On this one, you're gonna get two 40 pound tanks with automatic switchovers. Uh, we do get the bigger tanks on this one, so that way it'll last you, it'll last you a little bit longer when you're boondocking. These guys do run Chronospan Phylon. When it comes to your sidewall material, it's got more fibers per square inch, so that way, you get uh, less chance of delamination. On the front here, you do get the Moride Kingpin. It's got one and a half inches of travel independent on both sides, three quarters of an inch side to side, and then an eighth up and down. So it virtually eliminates chucking. You got your storage compartment up here, which this is gonna be either for storage or we already pre-prep them from the factory for a 5,500 watt Onan generator. So you're already set up and ready to go on that. And this one does come with the uh, 3.0 auto level. So you're always set up on that end. So it's all electric. There's no reservoir for you to uh, have to worry about filling or keeping an eye on. So you're all set and ready to go on that end. I'm gonna get this uh, pass-through door open here. So watch this. All right. So water compartment is completely finished out. It's all heated. You got a dedicated dead man switch right there. So that way you don't get parasitic draw off of your LP and carbon monoxide detectors. You get a storage port right here for your uh, water hose for your outdoor shower, which is located right here, hot and cold. You got city connect right here that passes your, goes straight to the faucet, and then your potable fill right here. Santa flush is located right there. So that way, easy to get to your Santa flush to clean out your black tank. So you don't get any false readings on your stuff. You got the swivel port right here where you can feed everything through. Close the doors, lock it up, nobody can get to it. And then plus, keeps everything nice and heated. We do do a walkthrough with you on this to show you how to use, maintain, and operate it with a technician. So that way, easy on that end. Uh, you don't have to second guess yourself. Your three point auto level is already right there. It's all electric again. Uh, this one does come with the bigger hot water heater. So that way, if you are boondocking, you get extra capacities on this end. So this is a direct sparked uh, hot water heater. This one right here uh, for the tank size, you're gonna be a 18 gallon hot water heater. It's electric propane. So if you run both elements, you can get a lot of hot water out of this one. It does come on a full electric reel for your 50 amp cord. So that way you don't have to fight that, uh, getting that in 
when you're getting ready to set up and leave your campsite. They do come with full diamond scape uh, skirting. As you can see, they got some uh, rib in them, so that way it helps prevent it from doing this going down the road. Plus, it makes it stronger. And then they do roll the edge on the bottom, so that way it makes it stronger on that end. On all the Arctic Foxes, they do run rack and pinion slides. And as you can see, everything is very, very heavy duty. Everything's all Darko finished on the bottom, which is a, a vapor barrier. So that way you're all protected on that end. All of your black tank and tank flushes are all heated and enclosed and go into the underbelly. So that way makes it a four season coach. Uh, you do get a seven degree cant on the roof slide on top. So that way it sheds water off the top of the slide. These do come with a dual insulated window which are radius cut. So that way you can have them open during a rainstorm and still get good cross flow. They do come with a fully molded back cup with a backup camera and a hitch for accessories. Nice thing about a backup camera, uh, you can see them behind you, obviously. And then plus the nice thing about a fully molded back cap is it helps prevent from water getting into the back and it just looks a lot nicer and a lot cleaner on that end. So um, going into the inside here, um, these do come with a full gas assisted uh, step. So that way they're not gonna bonk you on the head. They're fully adjustable, so if you do get on an uneven ground, you can still get an even step. You get a nice grab handle here. When you're on your first step, you get access to uh, that grab handle. So you don't have to sit there and lean over. Okay, so here we go. This is the inside of the coach. As you can see, it is finished out very, very well. These come with full uh, hardwood cabinetry. They're full birch faces with full pine boxes. And I'll show you the inside here. Okay, so they're all European hinge. Uh, the other thing that these guys do, they fill the aluminum stud before they sink this to the wall. So it gives something to anchor to. So you're just not reaming out that aluminum stud. I can sit here and reef on these things. They're not going anywhere. They're going to last a long, good time. You get full Corian countertops, 80-20 split stainless steel sink. So if you need to conserve water, you do get that smaller basin right there. So that way you can kind of help save on that water. Uh, underneath right here, you get ample storage, as you can see. And then on your drawers. All right. So apologize for that here. Okay. So. You get full one inch birch faces with full one inch pine backers on both sides. You're gonna get 50 pound steel roller ball bearing guides and that's on all of your drawers. You get full Thomas Payne recliners in the rear. You get the full hide bed located right there. We do the table and chairs with the leaf. We do add on the uh, 5500 BTU electric fireplace and the 12 volt pad heaters on all three tanks. So that way, if you do get into really chilly weather, you got that redundancy of those 12 volt pad heaters in conjunction with your uh, forced gas air. So that's a great, great option in this coach. Plus, if you're going down the road, you can turn on your 12 volt pad heaters and that'll run off the charge line of your truck when you're going down the road. Uh, on the fridges on these ones, they're gonna be a full Nurco uh, fridge. Get a lot of room in them. And then right here, a lot of room in the freezer. The other thing that these guys do, on the inside of the uh, refrigerator compartment, they insulate it. So that way, if you have ice cream in here, right there, it's not gonna be soft serve. It's actually gonna be ice cream. Uh, you get the nice big uh, burner tops, high output in the middle, low output on the sides. So that way, if you get into altitude, you can still boil a pot of water. Nice big oven, so that way, you could actually use it as an oven and not a bread box. You're gonna get one single 15,000 BTU uh, AC in this coach. And then the stuff that's on the roof here, or I should say on the ceiling, it's probably called ozite. It helps wick out that condensation when you're running LP heat. So that way you don't have to worry about the musty smells later on down the road where you're not using the coach. You're gonna get a 5 8 inch uh, plywood floor, 7 8 inch plywood roof, which is bonded. It is a fully walkable roof, and they are a wood roof truss to help wick out that condensation. Uh, going up into the bedroom area. 
full residential showers with a seat and then all of your doors are going to be wood in this coach so as you can see on the closet area right over there full wood doors you're going to get full wood pocket doors this is a full queen bed and then up underneath you do get a little bit of storage you do get a get a safe and then you get the uh chairs that goes with the coach i'll turn around over here uh, you get full built-in dressers does come with the 110 tv you get ample amount of storage when it comes to that end all of your uh, lights are all led so low draw no heat no bugs full cedar line closets smells great on that end do get a little bit of hamper storage right here plus you get a seat they do run like i said dual insulated windows uh, this one is on 50 amp so if you do want to do a second ac it is prepped right there for the ac which would eliminate that and then you'd get your second ac so if you guys have any other questions uh, please give me a call. This is Tracy down here at Metro RV here in Billings, Montana. It's been a pleasure uh, going through this coach with you. If you have any other questions, you can give me a call. My number is 406-208-3594 is my cell. Have a great one, guys. Thank you.